Hello and welcome to another video. So in our last demo, we geo-referenced some imagery. We took a raw single tile of imagery, we brought it into roughly the right place within ArcGIS Pro, and then we added a series of ground control points to really get that imagery as accurate as possible to the ground or the reference imagery. That's useful if you've just got one imagery or one image, sorry. The image area is relatively flat. Uh, and the imagery was captured vertically or the deer. However, if you've got a large amount of images uh, or you've got a hilly area, then there's other processes you can carry out to get a more accurate solution. Today, we're going to look at a workflow for using frame camera imagery. This is very similar to the drone workflow within ArcGIS Pro. Uh, however, there's one difference which we'll cover at the start. What can we do with these images? We can use all the metadata that I'll show you in a minute to bring these images into ArcGIS Pro. We then use tie points to tie all these images together. And then finally, we use ground control points in a very similar way to how we worked in the last demonstration. Once we've done that, we can use photogrammetry to create a DEM either a digital surface module model or a digital terrain model. And then we can create an ortho mosaic with all those images added together to create one product. What can we do with that? Well, there's a number of things you can do straight away in Pro. You can look at that imagery in a 3D viewer, either scene or globe. And this is really useful for understanding the terrain. If you've got an area with changes in elevation, can really understand that a lot better in 3D than you can in 2D. This is helpful for you to understand the lay of the land. Also, if you're supporting a customer, they, you really want them to get the best out of your products. It's very easy to export these as videos. And there's another video on my channel that uh, demonstrates that. You can also look at these in stereo, however, you'll need stereo glasses. I'm not going to cover that in this video, but I will cover that at a later date. Okay, before we carry on with this, we'll just quickly look at the data set that I'm going to be using today. So I've got a data set which covers three images. We've seen one of these images before. That was the same one that we carried out georeferencing with. But in this example, I'm going to use three images. I also have a camera calibration report that tells me all the important information about the camera that was used to capture these images. I also have the metadata that was captured at the same time. This contains information on the frame name, the details of the camera, and then all the metadata. So X, Y, and Z, Omega, Phi, and Kappa. This information will be really important when it comes to loading the imagery. What else do I have? I've got some elevation data, so one tile of DTED. And then finally, I've got these three files here. So I've got one frame uh, camera parameter calculator and then two CSVs. The demonstration that I'm going to give you today in ArcGIS Pro is exactly the same as it would be in ArcMap. And I'm going to assume that you've already got these three products or you can create them yourself. I'll show you how to fill them out and I will show you a workflow of how to create these in Pro at a later date. But for now, I'm just going to assume you've got these with your data. OK, thanks for listening and look forward to the next video where we go into the workflow. Thank you.